Two thirty one two. I believe I'm out. Two thirty one. How's it going, sir? Good. How you doing? I'm good. What's going on today? Let me grab my paperwork real quick. Um, I've been dealing with the same occurring situation for the last ugh, three and a half, almost pushing four years now. Okay. There's been an ongoing shit show, I should say. Okay. Um, I went. Are you recording by chance? Yeah, body cameras on. I'm gonna record also because I just like to keep a record of my own things. Um, I put a court order. Well, I didn't put a court order. I went to court. Okay. From the neighbors next door. They have continually harassed me and my family for the last what, shit, three and a half years now. Okay, once they realized I actually owned the property and didn't just maintain it for someone else, it's been a crap show. So I've been attacked physically by the guy. Cops came out. I was being the better person. By so when, when, was, when was that? That was, that was right when, before Zorner, Zorner was sheriff because Zorner came out with somebody else. But I'm gonna skip the whole backstory sh shit show with you. Okay. Um, I've got some paper. They've been con. My court order says for them not to contact me without either the court system or a lawyer sending me a letter to be in contact with me, me myself. Okay. They have continuously, maybe two months after that injunction was put in court, continuously done that. I've let it slide and kind of ignored them and done things like that. But now it's starting to cost me financially because by them doing this crap. I have to start showing up to court here and going here because they're just So they're, they're filing, are they filing court? No, they're not filing crap. They're going okay. to a third party person to harass me. And so I got the emails and stuff. They, sh they shouldn't have any, they're using them to contact me, which is okay. against well, the injunction. Let's, let's take a look at all this. So I'll grab that stuff. I can I can look that she, up. I, she, over the phone, the dispatch she gave it to me. Like these are the things. What they what they'll do is they'll they'll call the village administrator, and anytime I'm at my property, they'll call and complain. He's over there doing this. He's over there doing that. I own this damn property. This is my property. So what they did was they scratched out his name and stuff like that, and they used him to come after me. So who's who's the person? We don't know who the person is. Oh, so it's them right there. Okay. Yeah. So but we don't know. What, who the actual person that sent the email Because is. they scratched their name off. Okay. Correct. I, I understand. But if I pull it up on my email right now, this is where they made their mistake. Okay. When they sent these emails, they took pictures from their deck at their house, from their house. And you can see their home and them complaining about me. I didn't, I didn't print out the pictures of them taking the pictures along with the email. But, but I do. I can show it to you right now if you want to see that. And I've also sent her a video where they keep coming out of my property because I've asked the last time my officer was here to trespass them. The sheriff told me the last time he was here that if you know I who was out here the last time that I couldn't trespass him from my property. John Hafferbrink. That's the that's a detective. They you had know, two detectives out here. Do you know what they were working on? The same shit, the same harassment, the same harassment complaint. And so he told me that, you know, you can't trespass anybody from your property. I tried to correct him, said, dude, listen, if you couldn't trespass anyone from your property, it'd be a free for all. I want them trespass along the neighbor on the opposite right. side. So they refused to do it. So I went to the sheriff's office and said, hey, listen, can I trespass someone from my property? Of course you can. Well, why would he tell me no? Well, we can't answer that. Um, besides her not being trespassed, of course he is because he's under a code injunction. I want the neighbors outside, which is Byron Aslett and his wife, also trespass my property because they won't stop coming over where, here. Where, where? When are they coming on your property? When did they come on your property? Usually as soon as I leave. I have cameras. I've caught them on my, on my cameras. Okay. And they actually moved the property. i got a video that I can show you too. They actually moved the property markers because I'm doing landscaping berms. So I ain't got to see them. And I'm going to put trees and shit. So I don't, I don't even want to see them. So they actually moved the property markers over into the dirt to make it look like I'm building on their property, which is, which is goofy. You know, come on, let's, let's, let's get a little serious. Um, if you want to see the picture, show the pictures and things like that, or you can go down to the village of uh, Bristol and look at right off their off their computers because they stand for the protection of the people, which is the same that 
cop out, which I know it's them anyway because you can see them taking pictures from their deck, their house, is they use them as their third party to harass me. And they've been doing that. This is only a few. So is this is this because the village is, is doing stuff to you on your property? I don't know the whole detail what's going on it's here. It's a shit show. I, you and, keep, and, and, you and, keep, and, you keep saying that, so I don't... Is. And it starts with these guys. So yes, what they're doing is they told me you're, you're never going to build here, basically. We're not going to let you build here. We don't want you here. Go somewhere else. Well, okay, that's fine. I offered them to listen. You want to buy the property from me? You can buy it from me. Or you should have bought it yourself, either or. So they use the village in any kind of way they can to come after me, which is fine. But after that court injunction, you can't come or contact me with any kind of BS, even with a third party. So now they're using a third party which is the village. Hey, he's over there. Got, he's got trucks coming back and forth from his yeah, yard. Sure. Well, yeah, I do. I'm taking care of my work. Yeah, so Felix shouldn't be there counting, counting, counting the, cars the, that, that come through here. Oh, he's over at his property again doing something. You know, if I'm over here on the Bobcat, he gets his lawnmower, starts yeah, driving bye. around. He's supposed to stay the hell away from me. And I've been a little lenient about it, but now I'm just tired of it. I understand, but if a guy's cutting his grass on his property, it's... He doesn't cut his grass until he sees me out here. Because he knows by, by, by the order, he's supposed to stay away from me, which the, the judge says. It, it's really hard when, when you live next for, to somebody to be away from away from somebody. That's that's a tough part when of... When they only come out when I come out, it's like, dude, you're even, your blades aren't even on. You're just riding your lawnmower around looking like you're doing something and, you know, giving me the finger and things like that. I don't give a shit about that. It's not going to hurt me. So your your property goes back five to there. Acres, man. Five, oh, way okay. back, way back. And these people, you have no problem with them. Zero problems. And it's just them. So no, did anything happen today? No. So this is it's these four emails. There's way more than that, but I didn't want to come here with all of it because what's going to happen is if nothing happens, I'll come out with the rest and more. Then I'll come out with more. I'll continually keep coming out with more because there's tons of it. So if I throw all my eggs in one basket and you kick that basket over and say, hey, you know what, screw you, I've got a lot more to go with. So it doesn't make a difference. Like, you know, if I rob... Is, is there some sort of... Court order. Is there something between you and the village of Bristol going on where you're not supposed to be doing work on the property? That has shit to do with them. Okay, I'm just asking yes, there is. for the, the whole backstory. It's, it's back and forth. You keep saying it's a shit show, it's a shit it, show, but yeah, but that has, which is what I'm trying to... Me and the village of Bristol have been going back and forth because they complain about water back up in their property. So I, if I have dirt bringing here or whatever, I was doing a rest, rest, restoration for wetlands. Okay. Everybody wants to be in control of this restoration. The only people who have control of this is you and the DNR. Thank you. You're the only person who has said that. Or, or should. That was the only people who have unless, concerned. Unless it. there's something, unless the, the village find, unless there's some sort of, I'm not even the, the Bristol guy. I just got sent here because he's on something else. Oh, so I don't even know. I don't even know. So I don't even know all the backstory because if, yeah. if that person's been here and been dealing with it, they probably know a lot more than I do. They're glad I, like, I called when you were here because they've, have, they've done nothing over the time. So I've been attacked. Physically, I've been hit by rakes and shit. I've been, I've been more than lenient and letting stuff fly. But I'm to the point now where I'm tired. So of this it. is, and you said on the village of Bristol actual email it says the person's name who sent it. Go over the email. there right now. I swear to you, I'm walking in behind you. Who sent it? I had to for you that information because I started getting calls from the, and letters from the uh, board, like hey, there's complaints of cars, cars coming. Okay, I own this property. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So if you're sitting in your window and you're counting trucks that's coming in and out, there's way more than that. That's just a sample of it. If you go in there and ask it for the information that Mr. Jackson foyered about the complaints, it's gonna it's gonna bloop, you'll pop up a whole bunch and you'll be like, well, Jesus Christ, really? And you'll see everything. Because they weren't gonna give it to me. So in order for me to realize why they still bugging me and harassing me, I had to do a FOIA request. Is that like an open record? So open record? record, Freedom of Information Act. Okay. And, and you so got that from the village of you Bristol. You believe it. And then all of a sudden, they were like, well, wait a minute. We had to scratch the names out. Well, that's fine because so they, you're at your house taking pictures. Is this like, is this like a redact, like, this would be like a redaction from law enforcement where we don't give like the names of victims and police reports? That, yeah. is, right. is, that, is that similar, just so I jive to understand what's going on? That's what they're trying to go with. But when I put a complaint in, my name's on everybody's paperwork. So, <laughs> so I mean, give me an eye for an eye. You know? to, to be honest with you, man, I, it's a crap show. It's going to take me a long time to try to figure out everything that's going on, all different ways. Um, I'll give you the easiest way to look at it. Pull up my injunction on the second page. Okay. They were, they're going against the third party. They're using a third party to make contact with me through harassment. 
you look at those emails that they sent me this week, that stuff's gonna pop up. So this, with his there's name, one email name. from one email from August 23rd, one from May 23rd, one from March 2nd. Just so I'm being accurate. Mm -hmm. And one from January 11th of this year. And there's about five more from this last week that I didn't give to you because when this falls apart, I'm gonna have more. And I purposely not give them to you because- Why do you think this is gonna fall apart? Because the last four times it's fallen apart. Between me being hit physically, me being attacked well, physically. I, I, I haven't, I, I, haven't here. I haven't been here for any of that I'm stuff. So down, I'm you know. So, but my thing is that shit can happen to me continuously over the last few years. If I go over there one time, or no, I shouldn't say that. If they come over to my property one more time and I've had enough and I slap the dog shit out of one of them, I'm going to jail. Not necessarily. If, oh, no, no. Even if I knock them clean out on my property, no one ever believes me when I say anything or do anything. No one has ever believed the damn thing I do. So I started recording everything and I started popping out videos. And they go, holy shit. So I'll wait for everything to get done and said, and, and okay, well, there's nothing we can do. Then I show a video. Oh, Jesus Christ, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, why didn't you believe me the first damn time? Cameras and videos don't lie. People lie all the time. Unfortunately, but that's just, I mean, that's human nature. Do you, do you have another copy of these or are these for me? You can have that. Okay. I'm going to send you the rest of them if you want. Whatever, whatever you feel. <laughs> Give me your card. I will send you ones with the pictures. Look, I don't have in, cards, but I can, I can write my work email address I'm down. I'm more than happy to give it to you. Right. What's your name, sir? Uh, last name is Jackson. Common, Common spelling. spelling, not O-N, not E-N. O-N, yes, correct. First name? Quentin, with a Q, Q-U-E-N, T-I-N. Middle initial, sir? B, this is Victor. Is it, what's, what's this full middle name? Van. V-A-N? Yep. Date of birth? 10-22 of 76. I had to think about that. Okay. Dispatch told me that there's no actual, um, this property does not have an address currently. It's, yes, it's just a parcel. Um, where are you staying? What, what is your mailing address? 2022 82nd Street. Right, by the, right by the school? Mm -hmm. Right around the corner, man. Yep. Five three one zero four is Bristol. Yep. Phone number for you? Eric with 847 361 Jack. And you've owned this property Four since years. 2019? Yeah. It says 23, so 2019. It was 18, 19. Might have been 18. Close enough. <laughs> what? Is I there... I had black hair when I bought this shit. Just for purposes, is there like a parcel number when you bought it or yes. anything to identify it? I can pull it up. And your and your contention is that them taking pictures of you doing work on your land and sending them to Bristol is a violation of they're using the injunction. The injunction because they're using Bristol to come to after, after me you for just minding my own damn business. You know what so I mean? what what is what is the um, beef between you and Bristol? Are they trying to prevent you from building? Is there they're a court? They're trying to prevent me to, from building. Is, is Bristol put has Bristol put a halt order on you? They just put one on there. When after, did when after, did that happen? After the, the day after they sent the email, which is the the twenty fourth. Twenty. Do you have a 20, copy of that? Of is the, it like is it like a cease and desist order to mm, from Bristol? I can email it to you. Do you have that card? I'll write my uh, email address on there for you. Because they were like, oh, he's bringing this over to this property. He's doing this with this property. We're counting. We're in the. You can see it. We're in the window. We've counted this many trucks so far, and they're calling over to Bristol, and then they're calling me, hey, what are you doing? I'm doing you know, my regular thing, minding my damn business. Well, you have to stop. The neighbors are complaining, saying you're blocking the flow of the water. How the hell am I blocking the flow of the water? I'm way the hell over here. So it's my first name, my last name, KenoshaCounty.org. I'm, I've had it. I've had enough of it. I've let it, I try to let it come up go, and everyone else thinks, okay, well, it's not that big a deal, or don't worry about this. See, what happens is, it's the domino effect. It goes on and on for a couple of years it gets more and more serious it turns into oh he's just trespassed on our property because i was over here and when is when's now. the last time they trespassed three days ago okay pulling the damn uh you want to show me where the stakes are oh it's a walk back there but i'm here might as well get a 
How are the property lines marked out? Is it wood stakes, metal stakes? We've had, we've had three surveys. Okay. And all three surveys are sitting on top of each other. I've had, I get complaints from Bristol now, um, ordinance tickets for not having silt fencing put up. Put it up three fucking times. When's the last time you got a ticket from Bristol? Uh, how old were you? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Probably about a year ago. I, I just, I had to go to court and I had to pay the fines for the shit. But I put them up and they kick them all down. And they cut them down and I told them that. No one gives a fuck because somehow they've got some kind of stranglehold over Kirkman. And I'm not sure what it is. I don't know who's stroking who, but it must be one hell of a job because it works. I don't know. And where are they saying the flooding is happening? Right here. This is a wetland. Okay, so what have you done that contributed to? When I bought this property, you couldn't walk over here or even all the way across there. I got pictures when I first bought it. So I took the drain tile. We first got the arguments because when the guy came out to do mine, they have a blown drain tile also. And they said, hey, take care of mine also. I said, you got to talk to the dude. Now I'm paying him to do mine. He goes, well, liability is on you if I fix his or something happens. If I go to his property, he can sue me. I'm like, ooh, shit. So I'm like, hey, Felix, check this out. He stands, just pay him separately. Oh, what the fuck? You're right there. It's only a couple of feet. That's but it's not your, it's not your property. So that's a wetland. Wetland is from DNR. They said, don't touch it. Our, our property boarders share the wetland. Now, if they have any type of water on their property from the wetland, they get pissed, call Bristol and blame me. Through Deets versus the state of Wisconsin, wetlands and water is a common nuisance. What did the DNR say when they came out? They won't even talk about shit no more. They, they were done. They, they said that you guys are good. Continue. You, you've done everything you needed to do. You're fine. But now Bristol is, is holding it up. Because they keep complaining. They keep complaining. So I'll put my landscaping berm up. They complain about this. I put in the plan for it and all that shit. So I had to stop doing this. When, when did you stop doing that? Uh, when they send me an email bitching about, you know, or the, the neighbors saying you're, you're, on, you're approaching their property. I mean, I wanted to go another three feet higher, so I don't see them with my plan. This goes down the driveway all the way down. Just like my camper being there. Which is about that. You can't even see that fucking thing from their house. I go in there every three, two days, I'm in that thing. I'm gonna take some peace of mind. Is it kind of where he cuts the grass? My, the property line stops right here. I'm doing a landscaping mound. I'm going to plant trees. I don't want to even see their asses. So what they did was, over here, about another 10 to 15 feet, they pulled out the property market. As you can see, where the grass is still high, it's still my property. I had a string that went across it. Is that where, does he, does he cut where his property stops? Yeah, yeah. But, but the actual property line is in between these little whoop-de-doos. His kid rides, well, he and his kid, he's 40-something years old, rides dirt bikes. And apparently he built those for, her, for him years ago. And he was mad because I was going to take a bobcat and cut it down because, hey, what the fuck you, it's on my property. So the other day, I got mad and threw him over here somewhere. They took the stakes that were over here for the property lines, mm -hmm. and they dug them down in the ground. Pull up that video I just showed you. I, okay. threw the, I got mad and threw him over here somewhere. Before I do that, I, this is the parcel number. I can read it to you. Yeah. It's 37 okay. dash 4 dash 121 dash 363 dash 0322. Okay. See that box over here sitting up right? Yeah. That's a property marker. There's a little metal thing right down below it. Mm -hmm. There's a property marker also for it. Then there was a third one that got moved that was from the third survey. It's been two surveys. I mean, I just, they get mad because I don't want to see them. And if you don't want to see me and you don't like me, you should be happy I'm doing this shit to get out of your life. You should be trying to help me. <laughs> I'm building a berm to berm them out of my life is what I'm doing. I got you. you is know? there, is, ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> no, man, I don't want you suing me. <laughs> so they move, they move. I can work with comp, I don't got to sue you. Yeah, they move the thing out of the dirt and stuck it in my ground like the video she'll show you. To see which, the, I don't, here, which video do to you To make want? it seem like I'm actually on their property. Looks like someone came out, pried this out of the ground, see how it's bent? 
how these are very loose and they ain't in the ground anymore. So man, pry this out. This stuff, it's not even in the ground. They stuck this in like an inch to make it seem like I'm on their property. That's the kind of BS I be talking about around here. That's, and that's where is that, right? God damn, it's right here somewhere. In the metal poles. Yeah, I got pissed off and threw it in the damn ground. <laughs> Okay. I flung it over here somewhere. But so yeah. it was somewhere it's in... right over here in this area right here. Okay. Right here. Which, the rain or something is just yeah, flattened out that spot or whatever yeah. the, the, the oh camera's God. showing. Which which is... I mean, I, it made me laugh at first when I thought about it. I'm like, are you that fucking petty? But then what they did was they probably took the pictures and sent it to the village. And said, hey, he's on our property again. Look. Do you have any trail cameras up? I have them at home now. I put new, new batteries in them. I've caught their daughter over here. I got her on camera. I've got Felix on camera. I got the wife on camera. And their, their main thing is, what they'll do is, they send a lot of pictures to the village saying I'm flooding their properties. But their pictures, they're not very good at their deceitfulness. They'll take them at certain angles. And so what I'll do is I'll take their pictures once they send them to me with a complaint. Because me and Randy Kirkman, don't, I'll be honest with you, we don't get along. We don't, because I go to the meetings and I speak the truth. And I speak about this <laughs> BS that's been happening for years. And he does not like that. Is there, is there anything going on between you and the village? Is there a law Besides, lawsuit going on currently? They just, they just sent me some papers for a, lot, for a suit uh, a couple days ago. After they made this complaint, they sent me a paperwork for... What's, what is the village's complaint? I'm working on my property for the permit, is what they're saying. Do you have, do you have a work permit? Through the DNR, yeah. Okay. But the village is saying you don't have one through them, so they're not... They said they gave me one. Then they said they revoked it. Then they said I had one. Then they said you need to do this work. Then they said, well, you can't do any work because... I'm like, well, which one is it? So they kind of play it both ways. Which is, which is great on my end because... Which is not great on my end because there's a lot of stuff going on to try to, <laughs> but, but to try to sort through. Civilly for me is great because it shows their inconsistencies. Okay. And it shows that they're only, they're not actually doing the facts. They're basing their whole suit, which they base their whole suit, it's, a, it's kind of a comedy show, off of their complaints. Not off of what the DNR has said. Not what has been proven, what has been shown, or things like that. It's all off a of hearsay. So currently, are you supposed to be working on the property? I'm not doing shit. I, I'm just yeah. asking. Well, I, none, none of this looks like it's been freshly put down fresh. based on how it's the and last time it rained. A month ago. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Nothing looks like it was freshly laid out here. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. You're correct. Yeah. It does not look like fresh soil. But they are telling them that I'm still doing shit. Even though I wasn't even doing anything, I was just getting my grinding. Or well, part of way. part of walking back here was, I can, can and tell. it will show on here, none of this looks like it was freshly placed based on how it has settled and baked in the 100 degree temperatures that we had. You ain't lying, Masaj. This shit's been sitting here for as long. And this has been here for a long time? Not all of it. I just had some of it dropped off. So when they were complaining about the truck, oh, he's bringing dirt over there. I'm like, I'm not bringing dirt. This is my driveway. That's mil That's crushed asphalt. Yeah. So my buddy yesterday was supposed to be here and spread it all the way down so we can compact and be great. So now I gotta wait because they're bitching. Okay. Because Felix don't want me doing I'm not gonna lie, this might take me some time to, to sort through and figure out and go through and look into and... I will guarantee you before Tuesday or Wednesday, they'll do something else stupid. Okay. And they just they don't they don't have any don't have any borders. They don't have any Yeah. Well here's 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 my problem. If I go to the village and Randy's gone for the day, I'm off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Uh, he'll, today Friday he won't leave till uh yeah, four fifteen. But when I go there he's always in the meeting. He won't speak to me. Yeah. Well I'm not I can't always guarantee that he's gonna speak to me either. Well, he has to speak with you. You're a civil servant. Yeah, he but is also, so. but he can also say, "Hey, I'm leaving," or "I got a meeting." But the clerk is there. The clerk has all that information. Okay. All that came from the clerk because I had the FOIA FOIA request. So Renee is not there until the place closed. And they have. And she'll pull up and she'll give you the full email that was just recently from the last week, this week, and you'll see everything. Okay. Why don't you do something, Randy? Why is he doing? Oh, blah 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 blah. You told me blah blah blah. I'm like, damn. Is it that serious about my camper, really? Look what I you see my camper? <laughs> no. But if, I, nice if I'm on my property back here, I can see it. But from here, I can't. But if I was riding, but... but no, 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 here, but neither here this. nor there. I understand this. This is my property. I, I understand. That's my... That's my but way. my point, if we're going to be fair all around, mm -hmm. 
If he's standing on his property there, he can see your camper. What's wrong with my camper? I'm, use it. I'm just saying, he doesn't have to be on your property to see it. Correct. So I'm not. In the same, in the same motion? I'm not taking signs. I don't like their tech. They should move the motherfucker. Does that make sense now? That's maybe, how I maybe, well, maybe you should start flooding Bristol with, with, <laughs> with concerns about their dead pine trees. Uh, you know what? You mean, <laughs> I did. I had it on video with me telling him, hey, listen, this is going to kill somebody or hurt something. You should do something. He did nothing. Look. Yeah, that tree right there is dead and it's about that was dead foot too. tall. Look at this one that Look at fell. This. this one fell. It and it fell on your property. And they push it over this way. It's lucky so when I, the kids so I called. Here. Hey, no. Guess what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Randy is not going to do anything because Randy hates my guts. I go to every meeting and I let them know what the deal is. They're mad about this right here. The DNR said, leave this alone. This is a wetland. So that's why when the tree falls, you have to leave it there? I can pull the tree out. Okay, I'm just, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah, if, if, it, if, it says, it if it says but fall... Because of the history of these guys, these bitching, they said, do not do any excavating work over here because this is a joining wetland of the two properties. Okay. So they can hoot and holler about... Are, are, they, are they complaining about the culvert there? The culvert, yeah. Which goes both ways. And it flows, and there's no water. They'll, they'll, if it rains right now for 10 minutes, they'll call. There's water backed up. I've got tons. When we get shit tons of rain, the next morning I'm in here, the next well, morning. Every, everything and I'm, and I'm videoing, showing that there's no standing water. So every time they well, call... I mean, you got a hill in a valley, it's going to run down. Bro. Whether you Whether you own this or not, there would be a water issue. <laughs> You're the only person who's come out here with a straight mind and common sense. Because common sense ain't that common no more, and it shocks me that people don't realize that when it rains, you're going to have water. When you have a wetland, it's not always going to have water in it, mm -hmm. but it's going to have some water. It's going to expand and contract, and that's what water does. That's what wetlands do. You can't have a wetland with no water. It wouldn't be called wetland. It'd just be called land. This is all fucking land. This is wetland. They fought for this to be a wetland, and I fought for it not to be one. And once it was considered non-natural, but they said this is going to be a wetland now, oh, that's, that's not a wetland. You fought for it to be one. Congratulations. That's what you got now. This is all wetland. Down this, all the way down this uh, so stream. It's all oh, like, okay. From here? Where the cattails are. Cattails it's all the way around, and there's a depression area that's flat down that way. All through order of the DNR. We've been down here. We were drawing on the ground, spray painting. Tyler Minholes, uh, Marty. So you, you wanted to build your house up there? House up there. Trust me. I know. I know. As I much as your you. head hurts from listening to me, imagine the it bullshit. It doesn't hurt. It's just, there's just a lot. Years. It's just a lot, a lot to sift through. They screwed you over by sending you out here. Sure. All right. I mean, I'm sure you've gotten some background things on it. But I don't know all the jive of it. I mean, I don't even know what I'm sh I'm sure people that work the village would know a lot more about what's going on than I would because it's their assigned district, but and I'll be I'll be I'll be hitting them up and so, uh, Mr. Mr. Ashley, his best buddy over there next door. Uh -huh. I wanna have those guys trespass my property too because he likes to come over here and do shit also. Come stay over there by this business. Stay off my property. You you have you have a trail camera up and a picture of them on your property. I will write them a trespass ticket. Hey, we got a reckless somebody following. I will send it. Westbound actually, highways in the Ocean. You're not going to be able to catch up actually. Stand by. Three times left. I'm 41. I don't even care for this ticket. I just want to know when you come back over this property, your ass is going to go either. Nobody's ever, no one's ever went and talked to them? These guys are going, yeah. Byron, maybe once, uh, last three weeks ago. But you know, he plays all, I don't know what's going on. Going I, so I got him on video camera too, admitting that it's never been any water flooding and all that bullshit. And you know, I, why'd you do it then, Byron? Well, just because you never know. Because you never know. So okay. it sounds like we wouldn't have any problems if they just would let you build your house. Mm -hmm. No, they just mind their fucking business. It's not even a thing about the house. It goes even beyond that with them screaming at my kids, um, cursing at them and shit. And like, don't don't do that stuff, man. Come on, let's just. You can come at me all you want to. Leave my kids alone. At the time, they're probably what twelve and some other and lower than that. And I mean, now they're sixteen and thirteen. But I won't even let them come over here anymore because I've been hit with a metal rake 
the detective made me give I came in, I said, here he is right here, showed him the scratch marks. He made me give it back to him. <laughs> he made me give it back to him. They denied every bit of it until I showed pop the video. And then they're like, oh, fuck. They had to walk back over there and explain to them, do you realize he's got you on video the whole thing? Oh. And they asked me, what do you want to do? I'm going to be the better person. And she was standing right here. I said, just let them know, cut the bullshit. It lasted, I had three peaceful days over the weekend. Come Monday, Randy. Oh, your neighbor's next door. Oh my God, here we go again. But now Randy won't even talk to me. He'll just send me letters or have Thomas Gardner, which is the village attorney, send me like little stupid ass threatening letters. Uh, Mr. Jackson put signs on your berm saying stop Bristol corruption. Yeah, I did. Hello? Yes. Yeah, I did. That's my, my right. Just like people say, fuck Biden, fuck Trump, stop Bristol corruption. Did I break a law? No. Enjoy the rest of your day. Click. Either cut the bullshit or I'll go with my due process and I'm going to start slamming everybody in court, which I'm getting to start doing. I'm going to start slamming everybody. I'm going to give them everybody love letters and I'll see you all point by point. The rest of the things I'm going to come at them civilly. I'm not that stupid. I'm glad you have your thing still recorded because they're going to see this. I'm not coming at you civilly in court because I'm going to go federal. Because they got too many connections in Kenosha County. And I know that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stupid. Why me? What did I do to anybody around here? Absolutely nothing. I just met you today, sir. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Look, besides the shirt, I've done nothing to nobody, man. I've, I've, I have no opinion of you other than you're a frustrated landowner. I appreciate that, man. I, I truly do. And that's I, all. I appreciate that. Kind of refreshing. So, kind of. <laughs> so, <laughs> let, me, let me dig into this. I'll get your email stuff um, over to you. I wouldn't even be mad if you waited and you pass it on to the guy who's always here. Because at that point, he already knows the majority of the shit show. And it wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't be offended if you say, you know what, hey, listen, you already know the routine was going right here. Here's more going with it. Well, I'm, first I'm going to see. Trail cam. First, oh, yeah. I'm going to see if there's any, uh, if there's any pr prior reports that have been written. I'll, I'll pull up and I'll start by reading those. And when, when, the, when the detective from Zorna came out, well, he was sheriff, they didn't make a report. I had to get a, uh, the CAD to pull up the, when, me, when I called all that shit. Yeah, because the hard problem is, is everything we do is we type in an address, mm -hmm. and there's no address, address here, where... so it, it's, it's sometimes... It can be hard to find. Now, if I run your name and you're in the report, it'll come up too. Yeah, they didn't, they but if they're not doing reports, then it's not going to come up. I got to file everything. I got to file along in my leg. Everything. I keep everything. And I always, I always urge people to, to keep proper records of everything. It really yeah. wasn't said. That's why I tell people. And then when he, when they found out that I've got all of them, even the, the boards and the Bristol and Kirk and all them, and these guys on record, that's when they started hitting me with papers to shut me up, to keep me away from here, keep me. I'm okay with that. That's fine. So right now, there's nothing that says you can't be on your property. It's Hell just no, you're not it's supposed to. I'm just. Yes. There's just uh, you can't do any work on the property, like right? What kind of work? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, what they is... weren't very specific. Okay. <laughs> they weren't very specific. They tried to make it very general. The the complaint itself was kind of kindergarten. Whoever wrote it didn't really think it out. Um, it's a lot more behind that also, but I'm not gonna. I won't get into it. But yeah, I'm okay with it. It's, they're just doing me a favor. They're doing me. They did me a huge favor. Okay. I don't have to. I don't have to walk in there with a bunch of attorneys and go back and forth. All I have to do is show them their bullshit, and they'll prove my case. I'm gonna moonwalk my ass right on out of there and go home. Have a cigar. Okay. It's a shit show. It sounds like it. Worst mistake I ever did. Come to Bristol. Worst fucking mistake. I thought Lake County was bad. Fuck. <laughs> I miss Lake County so bad. <laughs> Just across the street. Of course, yeah, it is really, literally. I mean, <laughs> taxes. Though. Well, yeah, some some places. I mean, it's it's confusing. This intersection is like so many feet south. Yeah. Forty-five. It's so many feet south. It's actually still Kenosha, but. No, I probably actually goes across the street also. Yeah, I think it's probably about 50, 40, yeah. 50 feet south. You can tell, like on some of the roads, because the where the roads connect, one's yeah. one's newer than the other. So you, you can you can tell by the color of the asphalt that where the actual line yeah. is. At 45, where the south 
east corner it's like a bare lot there mm -hmm. used to be a house there really and it was actually a it had a, a bristol address but the the people moved out the house got dilapidated and they bulldozed it Damn. now there's like that bar or restaurant that's mm -hmm. like the first on 45 that's yeah. the first the property that is lake county it's Collins. weird when you have homes that are built like in both then as you go further past the trailer park once you go around the curve it's Lake County. I don't know if it's incorporated in Antioch or not, but somewhere during that curve is where the Wisconsin Illinois cutoff is. Uh, that first house on the curve is an Illinois address because you can tell by the, the 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 placard in the yard it's different than the Bristol ones. Yeah, because Zion's down the street. Yeah. Across so the Renaissance Fair is so Zion, confusing. which is nuts because you pass. Super confusing for you guys, I bet. Half, half, when you go straight this way, half that business is Kenosha, half is Illinois. If you drive straight through that T intersection, really? half the property is Wisconsin, half is Illinois. I don't know if they have to pay both. I don't know. That's messing up. Who knows? Who knows? So, all right. I will get working on this. I'll get some digging. Some I may have to call somebody else in to help because there might be too much digging. It's too much. If you need um, anything, you can call that number. I gave her text. I'll forward it right over to you. I've okay. got it. And I'm not really, really, really organized with it, but I've got it all. Anything that has to do with these guys, everything has to do with Kirkman, because he's just don't like me. Everything that comes from the village attorney. But the crux, the crux of it is, your contention is them sending Bristol stuff is a violation of the injunction. Yes. Okay. They come all at right. me They're just trying to come at me personally. Is all they're doing. I, I, I understand. They're using third party since they can't come over. And this would probably be something that's going to go to the the DA's office for their what their opinion on the matter is, so uh, which is why I'm going to try and get as much information as I can to present it. I'm going to send it directly over to you because when you get the emails, you'll be like, oh, shit, okay, here you go. I, I guess I'm going to even save it. Fuck it, throw it out there because it's going to keep going on. I'll keep getting more. They were just, they're so cocky, they don't care because I don't know what they had around his neck. He lets them get away with whatever they want to do. They can come over here and do whatever they fucking want to do. And this gentleman's like in his 80s, right? Mm-hmm. His wife is nasty. I've met her once and had two conversations. Nasty. Nasty. I'm like, ma'am, who are you? First time I met her, she was going off. I'm like, who are you? I'm way over here. What are you doing? The fuck away from me. Blah, 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 blah. The fuck are you? Now, Kirkman comes over the next day telling me to get off my property. You can't work up here until we get a survey. I'm sorry, what? I'm way the hell over here. Survey marker is still right there. The original one I showed him. Well, oh, that one right there is a... They say you're on, the, on their property. So I the ES survey. I'm not. Look at the culvert. I'm way over here, dude. What are you talking about? I had a equipment I rented. 11 days the thing sat here. I, I had to prepay for it. Waiting on Randy to call me back. Ran, Randy never called back. Me emailing, hey, what's going on? Me calling, hey, what's going on? I put notations on everything every day. Okay. Like, these things cost me money. A machine sitting here. An excavator. Like, these things are not <laughs> cheap. Sat here. He don't give a fuck. Super Randy. You know, his word is bond. He can't be touched around here because nobody else fuck with him in court. Who do you think? But he's pissed off more people than the neuron. He gets away with it. I'm okay with it. I mean, he likes it. I love it. He now, when, when, there's, when there is a... How often are the meetings? Twice a month. I'm okay. at all of them. Do they show up too? Maybe I'm gonna show up to one. Okay. And I'm just, damn it, if I didn't go to that one because I was out of town, <laughs> they fucking showed up complaining. And everything they complained about, I proved them wrong. Okay. And so I put in a complaint about that. The village didn't do anything about that either. I sent video, video, audio and video, showing that they're lying. Nothing. Okay. All right, sir. But they got their nice trees. to meet you. God damn it, don't call on. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I will. I will. I will do as much as I can. I will find out as much as I can. The tough thing being, if I go into the weekend, I don't get everything I need. Okay. I'm not going to be able to, to do the report till next week. That's fine. I will get the rest but of the will, to you. But I will get you, I will get you a response. I'll, if you want a case number right now from when I came out, I can get sure. you that.
was off even snow tires. Mr. Jackson, that's the uh, case number, uh, name and badge number, 24-hour switchboard for the department. Okay, but I appreciate your patience. Not a problem, sir. I may be more bitten than anything, but... I, 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 can, I can sympathize with your frustration. We, we wear many hats. <laughs> I like to be a counselor more than Dr. Phil. <laughs> All right, thank you. You guys have a good weekend. I appreciate it. Have a good weekend.